Dr. Curry, you're not board certified, correct? No, I'm not. Not in clinical psychology or in forensic psychology, correct? No, I'm a licensed clinical psychologist. But you're not board certified? No. Okay. And you also have only been practicing approximately eight years, is that correct? That's not correct. How many years? I've been licensed for 10 years, okay. and I've been practicing for about 15 years. Okay. And that includes what you went through with your different trials in Hawaii and everything else that you testified to, correct? Yes. Okay. Now, you went to Mr. Depp's home for dinner and drinks before you were hired as an expert in this case, correct? That's not quite right. I was interviewed at Mr. Depp's home by his legal team. Dinner was served. You, in attendance with Mr. Depp, was Adam Waldman, correct? Yes. Ben Chu, correct? Yes. Camille Vasquez? Yes. Okay. And the dinner lasted approximately three to four hours, correct? Yes. And it included the interview. drinks, correct? Yes. Dinner and, I believe, drinks were served. Okay. And this was before you were hired as an expert, correct? Yes. This was an interview so that they could make an informed decision as to whether or not to retain me. And don't you think that's a little odd that you're getting interviewed by Mr. Depp to decide whether you're going to testify adversely against Amber Heard? I was interviewed by the legal team. Okay. And Mr. Depp was present. It was his home, correct? Yes. And he was serving dinner and drinks. He correct? was not serving dinner and well, drinks. Well, it was at his house at his behest, correct? Yes, it was at his house. Okay. And you were contacted by Camille Vasquez, somebody you knew in the community, in February of 2020. Is that correct? I knew of Ms. Vasquez professionally. We live in the same city, and I work with many attorneys. Okay. And at that time, you not only knew Johnny Depp, you'd seen a number of his TV and movie roles, and you believed he was a good actor, correct? Not correct. I did not know Johnny Depp. Well, I had you seen knew several of, of his movies. You knew who he was? Yes. Right. And you believed he was a good actor? Correct? Yes. Okay. And then you provided an expert designation in this case before ever seeing Amber or having an opportunity to review any documents or records. Isn't that correct? I did not provide an expert designation. That's, that's an attorney thing. My opinions are contained in my report. Let's pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 884, please. This was plaintiff's designation, identification of expert witnesses in this case. And this is dated February 2021. That's a, a year after you went to dinner at Mr. Depp's house, correct? Yes. Okay. And it attributes, if you go to page 13, it says you have three opinions. The first of those is that Amber Heard, quote, exhibits patterns of behavior that are consistent with co-occurring cluster B personality disorder traits, especially borderline personality disorder. Did I get that right? I'm reading that here. That is not my opinion. Okay. Well, but it's, it's a current opinion, but this was not an opinion of mine then. I didn't have any opinions at that time. It says Dr. Curry will testify, correct? That's what it says, yes. Okay. And this is a signed pleading, correct, on behalf of Mr. Depp? I, I'm not sure I understand what that means. What? You don't understand what a signed pleading is? No. Okay. Do you understand that Mr. Depp's counsel prepared this and served it on Ms. Heard's counsel? I, I'm not an attorney. I don't understand necessarily all of these procedures. Okay. Are you aware that Mr. Depp is on an audio recording years earlier taunting Amber Heard that she has a borderline personality disorder? I was made aware of that in this case, yes. So you did, is Actually, that one of the audio? Not necessarily taunting, but I do recall hearing that Mr. Depp had used that phrase. So it's a coincidence that you now think she has those attributes after the attorneys listed it in February 2021 before you'd looked at anything, and Mr. Depp had made that accusation to Ms. Heard years earlier. My opinions aren't based uh, on it, coincidence. Uh, it's an objection. Okay. I'm sorry, Dr. Okay. Yes. Compound, I'll sustain the objection. All right. 
it's a coincidence then that you came up with symptoms of borderline personality disorder years later after Mr. Depp has been taunting Ms. Heard in an audio tape. I can't them. speak to whether or not there's a coincidence, but I can tell you is my opinions are based on the results of my evaluation. And it's a coincidence that Mr. Depp's counsel attributed that to you, that said that to you in February 2021 before you'd looked at anything, correct? I'm not sure. Okay. Now, would you agree that a disproportionate number of women are tagged with a diagnosis of borderline personality disorder? No, that's not quite right. 75%? The way you phrased it is not quite right. Tell me, tell me what's right. Okay, so there are more women who have been diagnosed with bipolar disorder than men. It's more prevalent in women. And trauma can cause borderline personality disorders, can't it? No. Never? Right now, we know that there are people who have borderline personality disorder who have sustained childhood trauma. There are also people who have borderline personality disorder who have had no childhood trauma. So like most personality disorders and really like most mental health issues in general, there seems to be both a biological component. In this case with borderline personality disorder, the research tends to support a genetic component and possibly a neurological component. And then there is also possibly an environmental component triggering those genetic markers. Do you know the percentage of women who are victims of IPV, intimate partner violence or domestic abuse, who are diagnosed with borderline personality disorders? I can't tell you the percentage off of the top of my head, but I do know that there is a larger, women with borderline personality disorder tend to have a higher prevalence of being involved in intimate partner violence relationships, being the receiver of violence, and being the perpetuators of violence. Now, you've never been asked to testify or serve as an expert with respect to whether someone has a bipolar disorder. Is that correct? A bipolar disorder? Yes. That's not correct. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Do you recall having your deposition taken in this case? Yes. On March 21, 2022? I believe that was the date, yes. And were you under oath at that time? Yes. All right, I'm going to ask you to turn to page 207. And the question was, have you ever been asked to testify or serve as an expert with respect to whether someone has bipolar disorder? And your answer at that time, will you please read to the jury? I'm sorry, page 207? 207, 207, line five. Ah. Could you no. read? No. Okay, thank you. Now, when this designation was served in February of 2021, you had not rendered an opinion that, quote, Ms. Hurd exhibits patterns of behavior that are consistent with co-occurring cluster B personality disorder traits, especially borderline personality disorder, correct? I'm sorry, I, I missed the first part. What was that? When this designation was served that you have in front of you as plaintiff's exhibit 884, oh, okay. you had not rendered an opinion that, quote, Ms. Hurd exhibits patterns of behavior that are consistent with co-occurring cluster B personality disorder traits, especially borderline personality disorder, correct? No, I had not rendered any opinions. My opinions weren't finalized until after my evaluation. Right. So when this came out, you had not rendered that opinion? I had not rendered that opinion. Okay. The second opinion that's listed in the February 2021 is that Ms. Heard repeatedly and characterologically perpetuated severe physical and psychological intimate partner violence, IPV, toward Mr. Depp over the course of their relationship. End of quote. Did I read that correctly? 
Uh, it says perpetrated, but other than that, yes. Okay. And so it, is it correct that they, that this pleading says in February 2021 that you are going to testify to that? This document, it, yes. yes. Okay. It says and, that. And you have never been asked to testify as to whether anyone has behaviorally or characterologically conducted conduct that suggests they may be an IPV perpetrator, correct? I'm, I have to, I have to ask that again because I yes. stumbled. Okay. I can't Thank do you. characterologically. That one's just okay. a tough one for me. Okay. You have never been asked to testify as to whether anyone has behavioral or characterological conduct that suggests they may have been an IPV perpetrator, correct? No, I've never been asked to testify for that. Okay. And that was not your opinion in February 2021, correct? No. And in fact, you do not hold that opinion now, and you were not even asked to provide such an analysis or opinion. Isn't that correct? No. Or that is correct, That's yes. correct. Okay. And you have never held that opinion, correct? No. That is correct, yes. Okay. And your third opinion, if we can go to page 14, was that Ms. Hurd exhibits patterns of behavior that suggest her allegations of abuse against Mr. Depp are false, end of quote. Do you see that? I see that. You said it's my third opinion. That is not my opinion. All right. But in this pleading, it says that you will testify to that, correct? Yes, that's what this says. Okay. And that was not your opinion in February 2021, was it? No. As I said, I had not formed any opinions at that time. I had just been retained. And in fact, you have never arrived at this opinion as an expert witness in this case, correct? In terms, you know, the opinions that I've rendered are provided in my report. And, you and have, they're what I'm testifying to today. And you have never arrived at this opinion as an expert witness in this case, correct? I, uh, I'll sus sustain it. You have never arrived at the opinion that Ms. Hurd exhibits patterns of behavior that suggest her allegations of abuse against Mr. Depp are false, correct? That's correct. Okay. And in fact, you've said that has never been my opinion, correct? What I'm saying is that this, the opinions in here, I, these are not my opinions. My opinions are provided in my report. Can you please turn to page 255? of your deposition. 